Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to develop your own YouTube style. Now, I've been doing YouTube for three years. I've had many different styles of videos. All right, if you look back on my original videos, I mean the original, original videos that aren't even on this channel, I literally didn't even have a voice. I didn't have a mic. I didn't plug in my Turtle Beach mic. And I would just use words on the screen to talk about what I was doing. And those videos, are, that's part of my style. That was the original style of videos. Now it's me in front of a camera talking and doing this. And my actual word choice is not different, but my the delivery di is different. And this is the key point. How you develop your own YouTube style. You have to start somewhere. And most people, me included, look at the way that someone else is making YouTube videos and they just kind of, I guess the best way to describe it is copy their style, um, but then eventually add their own flavor. So for instance, let's just go with Let's Plays, right? Um, I've been watching a lot of Let's Play channels at the time and I noticed that videos were 10 to 15 minutes long, right? So The Escapist, or, or I was watching someone play The Escapist and I no noticed that The Escapist when all those people, one of the first games I played on this channel, all those people, they just, one episode was one day regardless of how long it was. But most of the days was 12 minutes-ish. So I'm like, okay, when I do my Let's Play, I'm going to be talking, you know, there's no cuts, and I'm just going to do a 12-minute day, and the thing ends when I save the game. That's the end of the episode. Now, once I started having that style... I started to add my own flair to it. Things like editing or delivery methods of jokes or anything you can think of. The way that I talked, my camera presence, I eventually added a camera. And it started to become my own. And the reason why it started to become my own is after I picked a, a style to start with, I started adding things to it. Whether or not it worked, big deal. And if I found something I liked, I kept it. And I kept going. The reason why I pretty much have my own style of video today is because I kept making videos. You're not going to have your own style if you don't make a lot of videos. And my thing is I would add maybe one or two. I would do one or two things differently, okay? Like when I'm sitting here like in this spot recording these videos, I don't record just one of these a day, right? I sit here and record like a bunch together. And it's very easy for me to sit here and be like, okay, I didn't like this, 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 or that. So, you know, in this video, I'm going to be a little more energetic. Or in this video, I'm going to be toned down or over the top. Use hand more hand gestures, less hand gestures, you know, things like that. And that's how you develop your own style. At least you start to. Now, that's just on camera, okay? There's other things about style that I don't think anyone really thinks about that really make a big impact to the channel. One of which is your video, the actual content on your channel. A lot of people, in my opinion, think that if, we'll just, we're just gonna take Rainbow Six Siege for example, because I'm a gamer. If you upload Rainbow Six Siege, you are a Rainbow Six Siege channel and you should not deviate from it. That's a horrible idea. You should make content that you want, right? If you get tired of Rainbow Six Siege, you go, okay guys, I'm switching games. And if you get tired of that game, okay, guys, I'm switching games. Or you do multiple games at once, right? That's part of the style of your channel. Look at PewDiePie's channel. PewDiePie's channel, the content and him going back and forth and this and that, he, he used the PewDiePie flair that he put on videos, of uh, his gaming videos, and put them onto his other commentary and meme and all that stuff kind of videos. And so there's a consistent style along his channel, right? So the actual content... The things you make, very serious you is very different than very funny you. And which one you'd pick to be your dude on the camera most of the time is really part of your style. Part of, you know, like I said, part of your style is the topic choices you make, right? I make a lot of Oblivion content, so I get a lot of Oblivion comments. If I made a lot of Rainbow Six Siege content, I'd make a lot of, I'd get a lot of Rainbow Six Siege comments. Very simple. Now, another part of your style that, again... I think I think this is underutilized and as a style is thumbnails. Okay, if you guys look at my channel right now here, I'll, I'll do this 
in the video, I'm going to go to YouTube. Okay. I, I'm not recording my screen. I didn't plan on doing this. This is all freaking improv. Okay. I'm on my channel, I'm going to click on videos. There's a distinct theme. Oh, I forgot a thumbnail on that video. There's a distinct theme among my video thumbnails. And the style is there's a background image and literally all the videos look different except for this two things. There's a background image and my favorite font, the Bada Boom font. I love that font. It's my favorite font. That is the style of my YouTube channel thumbnails. Okay. Now this does something. This makes it so if someone's a big fan of your channel, you can upload. If you have a thumbnail style that's consistent and you upload a video, no matter what, if your thumbnail style is consistent, they know, hey, that's a Pacific video. There's a couple people that I watch uh, that do this, where they have a consistent thumbnail style. And they will upload a video, and I'm like, oh, I know exactly who that's from. Even if the style is a little different, and they're maybe missing a font or something, it's still the same. So how you develop that is you just continue to experiment, okay? I'm using all these examples because the main thing is you have to continue to experiment after you build your baseline style, after you have a normal style that you probably, let's be honest, copied from someone else, which is fine because YouTube is the plagiaristic site of the world, okay? And then you just use it and use it and use it and experiment with it, okay? This is like taking, th this is exact same thing as wood carving out uh, like a statue a simple statue and being like, okay, what do I want different on this? Then you make another one, 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 and it goes, 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 goes. And eventually, you learn there's a distinct you out of that wooden statue. There's a distinct you out of your YouTube channel, okay? That is basically how you develop a YouTube style, is you continue to make videos, but you continue to tweak things little by little. You don't do massive changes. That's not how you get a style. That's like the reset button, okay? You just tweak what you're doing a little bit at a time. And if you like something or if something sticks and you want to keep it, bam, there you go. That's part of your YouTube style. So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at making videos. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.